what's up everybody? Ryan McDonald coming to the stage. Uh, we got some gold eye up here. I got Brian Pass, who is, you, you're, you're like one of the, the lead people on the game, correct, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm working at Activision on the uh, GoldenEye game. So. And, uh, and so, yeah, we've got it here at the booth. We've got a four-player little setup over here. We're going to yeah. see some multiplayer. We'll do a little split-screen multi. Little split -screen multi. All right, yeah. so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see who the, the characters we got are. All right. Uh, now, last night we did a little live webcast from the Activision event. I got to go, I got to sit down, play a little single player multiplayer. Right. Uh, pretty impressed, I have to admit. All right, here we are. We are in the match. Yeah. So we're jumping into a multiplayer. We've got uh, Odd Job, we've got Scaramanga, we've got Jaws, and we've got Trevelyan. So uh, the mode that we're playing here is uh, called Golden Gun Mode. So we've got one golden gun on the map. And uh, so one, one of the guys, shot, one kill. it's one shot, one kill when you get the golden gun. I like that you guys so, uh, even for the demo, you guys don't play around. You're like, whatever, golden gun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we got uh, Trevelyan. Oh, Trevelyan just got uh, just got nailed though. So he dropped the golden gun. Now we got Odd Job. So Odd Job's up in the upper left hand corner. He's got the golden gun. He's no. going up against Jaws right here. Now, one of the questions I had last night when we were playing: Does Odd Job still have the cool being short factor of being awesome and small? Yes, Odd Job is small. And, uh, and he does have the bowler hat, so oh, yeah. he's got a little bit of an advantage. He's got that, that bowler hat, which he can throw. It's one shot, one kill. You know, it's limited. We've got a, he's got two bowler hats, just like everybody else has grenades. Uh -huh. He's got two bowler hats he can throw, so, uh, you know, it's still balanced. It's not, uh, not a complete advantage. Now, of the mix. And there he is. So he just got, uh, oh, yeah. he just got taken out there by Scaramanga, so. You're talking about this, this level here. Oh, and there he just took out Jaws with the bowler hat. It's always a good move. How is it for the, the levels? that You guys got a mix. I know there's some old returning favorites from the original, yeah. plus a bunch of new stuff. Is that right? Or Yeah, yeah. Well, see, what we're doing is we're, we're retelling the GoldenEye adventure, and we've modernized that story. We had Bruce Fierstein come in. He actually wrote the screenplay for the film. Oh, wow. Uh, he wrote the uh, the story for our game. Now, now, if you don't, like, without totally spoiling it, right? but I'm obviously a huge fan of the game, how do you re-envision the game? Like, how do you re-envision that storyline? How do you do that? You just spruce it up in sparks, or what do you do? Yeah, well, we've again, we've, we've updated it. That that story was written back in the mid 90s, right. right? So cell phones were these big things you, you carry it around. Now we've got like smartphones, you got cameras. So, you know, we've updated the technology. We brought that story into 2010, right? So made it plausible in today's day and age. And then we've updated a lot of things like it's no longer Pierce Brosnan. We've got uh, Daniel Craig. Yeah. He's in there as Bond. We've got uh, Judy Dench. She's in there as M. Right, so all the main story elements are still the same. You're going to be able to recognize locations like the dam and Severnaya. Those locations are still in there. You're still going to get to be able to play through those. But again, you know, we, we've updated. So there's some there's some additional stuff in there. So it's going to be fresh and new for people. Now, one of the things I remember from Goldeneye and playing it and loving it was unlocks. I remember unlocking tons of stuff and having, you know, Sean Connery and all kinds of old characters and stuff like that. Right. Can you talk about any of the unlocks or anything that you guys are you know hiding in there? Yeah, so we got we got a ton of different unlocks in the game. So uh, multiplayer, like they're playing here, we've got uh, a perk system, oh, yeah. and uh, you're gonna actually be able to kind of level up your character, unlock different weapon loadouts, you know, different characters that you can play in multi, and then in single player by doing uh, side quests and uh, you know maybe going and hacking into computer terminals and collecting data and things like that you're actually gonna be able to uh, unlock content in, uh, in the multiplayer game as well. Now, one of the things, I, so I have to admit, I have to admit, last, uh, last night when we were playing the game, sniping in GoldenEye was one of my favorite all-time things to do. And in the, you know, the N64, I mean, whatever, that game, like, the sniper rifle in that game went really far. Like, you yeah. could totally, like, zoom in way. I was trying to snipe in really far. It didn't quite go that far. Am I crazy, or did you guys make it more, like, real life? Uh, you know, you, you, you got to make it a little bit more realistic, yeah. but, uh, you know, we want it to be recognizable to the fans, so, you know, we're still tuning and balancing exactly how far those things go. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I used yeah. to put that thing, like, on somebody's, like, cheek. <laughs> From way out. All right, so we got another match. Are they on the All same right, they map? Started, they started another match. Yeah, we're on, the, uh, we're on the station map here. So, again, looks like nobody's picked up the golden gun yet. So the golden gun is, uh, is right in the middle of the map. Yeah. Let's see, there's somebody, there he goes. Trevelyan just picked it up. He's in the bottom right-hand corner. He's going up against Oddjob. Oh, Oddjob took him out. Now Oddjob's got the golden gun. Now, now that's, that's a little bit of a disadvantage to the other players because not only does he have the golden gun, but he's got that bowler hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's got two ways he can take people out with one shot. Uh, uh, so let me ask you, I, I, you know, I, I felt it for myself, but I'd love to hear you describe it. What do, you, what do you think in terms of playing with the control setup that you guys got? Right. 
we've got a bunch of different control setups actually. It's like we we like to I like to say we're controller agnostic. So if you want to play with the Wiimote and the nunchuck, we've got a control setup for that. We've got motion controls, gesture-based controls for that. Uh, we can we support the uh, classic Pro controller, which yeah. is what the guys are playing on here. And think about that, it's it's instantly recognizable to anybody who plays a shooter, right? right it's got right. dual analog sticks. It's got four buttons up on the shoulder, four four buttons on the face. I can put that into somebody's hands, and they instantly know how to play the game, right? right? No instructions needed. Anybody who's played Call of Duty or Medal of Honor or any game on the console in the last five years knows exactly how to play that game. Maybe, maybe you give a shout in the back and see if uh, Max can get a shot from this other camera over here and see these guys playing it with their hands on these controllers. Because you're right, that's the cool thing is you guys didn't fool around. You guys are like, whatever, whatever control scheme you want. Yeah. And that like seemed like a perfect approach because I know a lot of people who were obviously fans of the old one, if you guys had have forced like Wiimote controls or anything, you know, down their throat, they'd have been like, oh my God, no. Yeah. But now you just kind of give them everything they just want. With, so whichever way they want to play. It's about it's about the player being able to make the choice, right? That's, we, that's if, you, if you got a Wii Zapper at home, yeah. we support the Wii Zapper. If you got an old GameCube controller that you want to you want to pull out of the closet, you can put the GameCube controller into your Wii and we support that as well. All right, so since you guys are putting it through the paces right now, right. does it hold up though? If I go up against a dude with the classic controller scheme and I got my Wiimote, is it, can I be good enough? Well, it's gonna. It, it's down to your skills, right. right? Like if you're good, if you're good with the Wiimote, and have that's you seen the way people you play? in the office that are like good with the Wiimote versus the classic controller? Oh yeah, or is it really? Yeah. Oh yeah, we have some people over uh, over at the development studio. It's Eurocom over in the UK. They're doing the Wii game. Uh, N Space in Florida are doing the NDS version of it, and uh, a lot of the guys over at the development studio play with the Wiimote. That's cool. And, and that's their primary control, and and they're you know have you guys they're staged? just as good as with any other control. Have you staged the showdown yet? The Wiimote. <laughs> Best Wiimote guy versus the best classic controller guy? No, we, we haven't, but All that's right. a good idea. I think right. uh, I think we'll have to put we, we, we do that down. three shows a week, so whenever you want to do it, come on by the office. We'll have you guys do it live, so right. we'll have the added pressure of being live on top of it. All right, we'll throw down the gauntlet. Excellent. Uh, so See who actually gets to win the golden gun. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, if, I know you touched on some of the stuff. Let's talk about the weapons, all right? A lot of the weapons in the first game I've seen, obviously, in there. Golden Gun, obviously, easy one off that. Right. Rocket launchers. I know, like, you know, the, the mines, right? Whether they were the time mines or whether they were the, the motion-sensitive mines. Right, right. All that stuff's back. We got we got all those those classic weapons. We got all those, uh, you know, those classic gadgets and things like that. Those are going to be making a comeback in the game as well. Uh, the modes. Yeah. The modes are something that, that we should talk about. So we're playing Golden Gun right now. We've got straight-up deathmatch. We've got team deathmatch. We've got a ton of different uh, modes that you can play in, uh -huh. and then modifiers. So paintball mode, oh, I got you. you know, we've got uh, melee mode, we got sticky grenades. So you can mix and match between uh, the game modes and uh, and the different game types. Right. There's over 200 different combinations that you That's can right, have. They call them sticky grenades in that one. Those yeah. were the devil grenades. Because yeah. then you'd walk into a room and it just like erupt in flames, right? But, uh, so yeah, so how far, how much fun has it been working on this project? Well, uh, it's been a blast. Cause yeah. I mean, I played, I played the N64 version way back in the day. Spent a lot of time, played with my friends. So being able to play this game, and you sit down and we still play four player split screen multiplayer in the office. You know, we're having a ton of fun, and we've been playing it for months and months. Is there, and uh, it, it takes you back. It's, yeah. it's like it's like being back you know, back in college again for a lot of people. What about the, uh, like you were talking about, you know, grenade launcher, sticky mines, a lot of those, you know, weapons were defined in that first game. Anything that you see that's new in this one that people are going to be like, all right, this is the, uh, this is new for the, the 2010? Right, well, we've got a lot of new stuff for 2010. There's the, uh, the AR phone, for example. You get to use that uh, in single player for doing side objectives. Uh, collecting information, so that's a new a new gadget. You like, say the AR bow? Is that what you call it? AR, augmented reality phone. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so you can hack into computers. Uh, you can collect information with that. You're, uh, you, you may have to do like take pictures of uh, things to collect uh, information and okay. data, download it to MI6, stuff like that. I did see there's so a nice cool now on the on the on the sniper rifle. We have uh, we have night vision goggles. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the night vision goggles are uh, are pretty awesome as well. Uh, when you find yourself playing on the old levels, do you find yourself following the same patterns that you used to? <laughs> well, the levels are not, uh, they're not exact. They're not identical? They're not, right? Yeah, they're not exact. They're not remakes. They're, you know, they're, we're remaking levels that were, uh, you know, they're really coming out of the film. I guess so. And uh, so we've, we've taken a lot of keys and a lot of visual cues from those levels. So they're not exactly the same, but, you know, you adapt. You figure out uh, your the, new play style. The one from. that I always seem to remember, and I totally can't remember the name of it. Um, 
the one I always seem to remember that would be the one that would come up and we would play is the one that was the corridor and on either side was like the rooms that had like the missiles in it, remember? Oh yeah. I don't remember what that was called. Yeah, I don't even remember what it's called, but I don't it, remember what it's called either. Is that in the game? Do you know? My my vagueness is it close <laughs> enough for you? I'm like I'm trying to think uh, exactly which one. You know that one level know. with that one crate in the one spot, sure, the right? One, yeah, the, yeah. the one with that like that, that thing under the grating. Yeah. Right. So who, who's the champ over here so far in our multiplayer match that our folks at home have been watching? Well, it looks like Josh just got a couple of kills in there. Trevelyan's got the golden gun. Play, that's the one that odd job. That's the one thing I noticed. It's fast. It goes. I mean, it's it, faster it than I remember almost. Yeah, I mean, we've been sitting here. These guys have played through uh, like you know this. I think they're on their fourth match here. So it's it's fast paced. You get to jump in. Uh, you get to play a quick match. And uh, you know, it's it's about social gaming. It's something that's kind of been lost yeah. in the consoles nowadays. The Wii is the kind of platform where you're sitting around with your friends and your family. You're in the living room. You're all playing together. And that's something we wanted to bring back with Absolutely. this game. So playing split screen multiplayer is just a ton of fun, trash talking with your friends. Uh, we have accolades at the end of the match. So when these guys finish a match, you can actually see. It'll tell you like, uh, you know, you, you, uh, you did the most reloads. All right, here we go. So Trevelyan actually won the game. I gotcha. So uh, you see there, some of the Jaws. accolades here, like least accurate down here in the lower left, most shots fired. So some of them are, at, are, are good, and uh -huh. some of them are, are actually bad. Some of them you don't want to get. Some negative stuff. Yeah. And, that, and that brings up a good point. Like I remember now, one of the awesome things about the original game in the single player was the crazy, like the different, remember you had like the four different layers of how hard, like agent, double agent. Like, yeah, is yeah. that is that the setup oh, that you yeah, guys yeah. have? We have difficulty levels in the game, for sure. And the, but the does it have like the different tasks associated with each one? Exactly. Yeah. There's going to be uh, there's going to be different objectives. So if you're going to play on a harder level, there's going to be more side objectives Excellent. and things for you to do to, to 100% the level. Excellent. Now, not to jump back and forth, but when you guys were doing the multiplayer stuff, now and correct me if I'm wrong, was there a desire? I mean, the Wii obviously you could totally go online with that thing. Was there a desire to like include some of that, or were you guys from the start like, no, this is four players split screen, whatever? Well, we have both. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So we've got four players split screen, which is what these guys are playing here. That's local. Yes. Uh, you can go anywhere from two, three, four players, uh, and then we have up to eight players online. So these four dudes can jump on against four other people, and uh, it's single uh, single player per console when you're going oh, online. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. All so right, you nice. can use uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi Connect. And uh, play against your friends. How many up to eight up people? To, one up place. to eight people. That's yeah. pretty and cool. And there are there are uh, game modes that are specific to eight player online that you can't play in uh, four player split screen. Super. And, and vice versa. So you know there's uh, there's some benefits to uh, to playing online versus playing locally, and then works the other way too. Well, I uh, I look forward to discovering it for myself as well. I'm sure everybody at home watching. Cool. Brian, I can't tell you. So much. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you here and bringing this game along. Uh, I and I'm sure a legion of fans are super excited. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, before I let you go, anything you want to say to the folks at home that are waiting? Uh, go ahead and uh, check out Golden Eye. It's coming out on uh, Nintendo DS and the Wii platform this November. Excellent. Right on, Brian Pass. Thank you so much. Cool.